I know people say that Toby looks grumpy, but he's really not. He's really happy and affectionate and loving. He looks like this little sad old man. Really inside is, is just a little kitten that wants to play and be loved. He's the most beautiful, lovely boy. Toby is obsessed with birds. He just sits in the window and watches them. And we've caught him doing a little imitation of them. I was feeding them one day and he was a bit more relaxed and I started to touch his stomach and he realised he liked any rubs. We love him so much and we're so lucky to have him. And we thought if we went for some work, it maybe take a little bit longer to adopt. We thought we'd try and find one that would take longer to find a home than just a cute little pin. From there, we thought if we could get two of them, then we're helping two cats rather than one. Say hi. Say hi, boy. Yeah. They lived together their whole life. They were rescued from the same house and they were actually found hiding together when they went in to rescue them. So they thought they'd keep them together as a bonded pair. Toby, I think without Quinton, you would probably never see him. He definitely knows that Toby's a little bit different. I think he's also got a really good dad gene in him. He's constantly trying to take care of Toby or turn Toby off and not doing what he's supposed to do. So I think he knows he's a bit more fragile as well. He, you know, he always is cleaning his face and grooming him and trying to take care of him. He needs to be gentle with him. It's kind of pretty um, child safe, which is really what you need to do for an EBS cat. No sharp corners, you know, no open windows. So he has got some kind of step or something not too far for Toby yeah. to jump up or down from. We haven't had too much to worry from Quinton's good big brother. I don't think they could live without each other.